Hi. Uh, if you have an element of the page, like this Jumbotron, for example, that you want to reuse on, on this page or on other page or even on different project, now you can add it as a component. You see, and now our user component library was added to the project. So we can select any element on the page and add it as component to the library. And then when these um, elements behave just like normal library elements, we can drag them on, on the page and, and work with them whatever way we want. Um, we can also right click and rename them to, to something more useful. Uh, or simply delete them. What update will do is uh, we'll update the library element with the current selection. So just say update. Now this element uh, became got the content of the selected element here. Um, <clears throat> and of course it makes sense to save our library and we can save them when, wherever we, we want. And libraries are actually saved as uh, JavaScript files um, in, in the same format that Pinegro uses for plugins. And we manage which plugins are active for the page here with manage frameworks. We can see like we have HTML, we have Bootstrap active, and also here is our new library. And if I deactivate it, you see it disappeared from the library. And activate it, and we have it back. Okay, so now let's close this page and open a new page. And the library is not here, but again, I go to Manage Frameworks and Plugins. I see it here, I activate it, and I can use the elements from the library on a completely different page. Um, this is a very useful feature, can save a lot of time. Um, I could also copy this file, give to somebody else, and load it load it here. So, so much for now. Enjoy using components and libraries and le let me know if you run into any kind of issue. And we'll continue to develop this feature because this is really useful and can save a lot of time when you create web pages.